What's up world? It's your boy Solo here. Tonight we're going over how to fight with a stick. Dirty boxing with a stick. So we already went over dirty boxing. 52 block, Panakotan, dirty boxing in general. Um, today we're going to use a stick because really in Kali in the Philippines you learn how to fight with a stick first. Are they train people for battle? You'd want to have a weapon first and if you lost that then you got a knife or if you lost that then you go to empty hand combat. So it was made for war and it's really successful. So this little stick would win battle after battle after battle. I think there was 48 attempts on the island of Cebu by the Spaniards and they were never successful. So and they had metal and they had much larger armies. So we're looking at it just a little stick like this. This is actually a plunger. The re reason I'm using a plunger is so you can know that you could pretty much find a weapon anywhere. You don't need to go buy a sword. You don't have to buy this or that, a knife. Just a plunger or a stick you find on the ground. Anything, a metal pipe. I got a whole collection of them, but today we're going to use a plunger. So, this might not be an effective tool for the average Joe. Swinging wild. You don't know how to use it. You're going to get caught up. But that's why we're here today. I'm going to show you how to really use this effectively. Now, first thing you need to know is where to grip it. You don't grip it from the end. You want to give a little slack here. You'll, you'll feel it, you know, when it feels right. And, well, you know, uh, when you can spin it around like this. And you want to get your wrist at a good 360. 360 degree. If you can, you know, but that's when you get really good. Because you can hit both sides, do all kind of stuff with it. But you want to hold it right here. Because this is used for jabbing, stabbing, and locking. See, the stick is not just for striking. This chokes. There's all kind of joint manipulations, breaks, locks, trips. All kind of stuff you can do with just a stick. So, like I said, there was 48 attempts on Cebu, on the island of Cebu. And the Spaniards were never successful. So, just like dirty boxing, just like boxing, just like MMA, any kind of fighting, keeping your set up. Just like 52 blocks, keeping your set up. You still got the same blocks, except your parry hurts a little bit more. A little smack to the hand there, kind of tore people from wanting to hit you, you know. Um, so for just self-defense. So, all right, like I said, holding it here. So we can grab arms and smack the face, all kind of stuff, but keeping your hands up, you got this left parry. If you're parrying from that, that hand, and you're parrying, like I said, you can hit this way, hit this way. So the main strikes and pretty much any uh any tool would be diagonal, up and down, side to side. And so you know, so those are the main strikes you want to practice. But there's a way to do it. See, I'm standing, can't see it right now, I'm standing left foot forward. Basically, standard stance here. So, blocking all kinds of things. You can block here, block here. If you're coming strong, you can use your. There, you got a weapon, you can block all kinds of different ways. Anyway, hands are up. Your first strikes to the side, not a full strike. just to get in so you're not swinging all the way through so you stay at set see I didn't even have to leave my guard alright so one and two now we also have all the way straight straight through but you want to come back to your set you want to come back to a good stand so like I was showing you in the last video 52 blocks you're ending up underneath. You're not hurting yourself because that's the muscle right there. That's your wing. So, still got your pop and back to set. You want to be able to roll them. So, you're coming over your head and swinging back, but you're coming back to set. Okay? So you're staying. You're staying in your fight set. You're not leaving. You're not going extending too wild like you see in the movies not doing all that you're staying right here bow, 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 bow. strikes here back to set 
There you sit. Coming through. Straight down. Come straight up. And just play around with it. You also got to do a little spin so you got to whack. Whack, whack two. Or hit the hand, hit the head. Hit the weapon, hit the head. So you want to create a good flow. Kind of like the bow staff. Spinning it back and forth. Round and round, both ways. Every video I want you to pay attention to all four sides of you. Alright? All four sides of you. This is not this is not a sport. Kali's not a sport. This is for battle. This is for self-defense. This is for war. So we we'll look at your angles. At a whole 360. And if you really know, even for disarms, somebody's got a gun and you got a hand, of course they wanted you to drop the weapon, but that quick, you can hardly see it, you know? You never telegraph your strikes, and that's a good thing about the Kali stick. You don't have to telegraph, you don't have to cock back, you don't have to twitch your shoulder or anything. So we want you to practice not telegraphing, not tell saying where you're coming from. You know, just a little flick of the wrist, pop. I mean, your wrist is gonna get stronger with practice, you know, gonna get faster. So it's just the introduction, but this cracks bones. If you hit right, you wanna slide it through. Unless you're using a straight shot to come back, you wanna come through so you're hitting like a whip. Okay, you're letting it slide through. Bomb, and you get the most, the most effective hits, you know what I mean? Sliding it through so you're holding your wrist and it slide through All right So a couple exercises you want to learn Is how to spin it It's a little lighter than my collie sticks. I'm gonna get those out here in a little bit but uh You don't want to let your hand go too much just to get your rotation right. It's hard to do it slower. I mean, but you want to get your rotation right for both sides. All right. And a good, good exercise too is just spinning, because this is a lot of your strikes. This is your from side up, down, side to side. This is your blocks to strike. So hand, and you want to get a flow too. Trapping the arm to hit, hitting the arm to hit leg to head you know what I mean side to side up and down so you look at your range here from the back arm you can judge that distance hit that distance hit leg shots knee shots head shots offering this range without having to back up so you know where your jab is so if you're already a good boxer, you know, you got that third arm here. Because you still have your elbows, you still have your, your forearm bone, you still got your knuckles, but you got jump, hit, and to grab. Okay? This is for trapping too. So that arm comes, trap it down, hit. Arm comes, trap it down, you can hit. So good tool. You want to master something, you know, master something that's cheap, you find anywhere. I'm going to go over this again, double stick, single stick, uh, joint locks, chokes. This is great for chokes because if you just look, you create a triangle from your bone to the stick. It's much worse than a, than a regular choke, you know what I mean? Or a regular joint lock or a regular break. You know, even just under the arm here, with a pushback, you know, you can hold it here, choke. I mean, these are devastating. They're way worse than a regular choke with uh, the tissue around your arm. But uh, anyway, we're just going to go with striking till I get, it's late night, man. It's like 3 in the morning. Can't sleep, but you're looking. So your main set and your secondary set. So. From here, 360, right? So 
So, anyway, that is the intro to stick fighting. I don't have anybody out here to demonstrate with, so I'm not going to go over joint locks, chokes, and everything tonight. I just wanted to tell you about it because we're going to have that in upcoming video. So, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to go over all of that. Check out the website too, Solomonati.com. But I'm not done yet. We got our spins just like the bow staff and back. If you haven't learned it, go to the bow staff video right here in the corner. So you see the spins. It's the same spin. So if you can master a stick, you can master a sword. Real easy. So and it's a lot safer to practice. But um Yeah, so you got your front spin, side there. And these are all strikes too. You get hit with that good on a bone. It's gonna hurt. So we're looking at main targets. Our main targets, pretty much the hands first. Because you, you want to stay out of range, and a lot of times that's where the weapon is. So hitting, you want to break those bones back here. If they have a weapon in the hand, like a knife, even a gun. You know, you don't want to telegraph, but if there's a gun there, hey, I'm sorry, man. Hey, look real quick quick like bash your hand then enter get get into range trapping range because then you get that gun then you can do locks with this stick to break that arm or do whatever you need to do all right jab an eye out but so you'd stay out of at a range and you know just practice just like just like in boxing So, our main targets, hand, right above here you got a pressure point, right above the wrist. You can feel it if you bang yourself, try it on your own, use your wrist, you'll feel that shock. Right here there's a vein, it goes right over that bone, that's what you want to hit. Next target, the elbow. Inside the elbow, hurts like hell. Trust me, it's that, uh, that funny bone. And right under the right up, see this one has a little more muscle on it, but right at the tip, yeah. So you stop in the weapon. This is just like Bruce would say, intercepting fist. So your first targets would be the hands, and the reason for then you can get in. You're opening up. So hands, wrist, elbow, the collarbone. See if you hit this on muscle, it doesn't hurt as much. It'll sting, but on bone, you can break that. You know what I mean? So right at the collarbone, then we're looking at just the little flicks you got. So neck shot, hit the throat, side of the neck, and of course behind the ear. And eyes, teeth, you can knock them teeth out. And anywhere on a dome, anywhere there's bone on a dome, you can hit that and it will hurt. Other targets will be the the kneecap or the side of the knee, the inside of the knee. Ooh, even the shin bone. You know, that's you, you unless they harden that shin bone, a little sharp thing like this. You, you're used to kicking something wider, but if you get hit with a skinny little stick on the inside of the shin bone, not exactly where they uh, they hit or where the tissue's at, right on side inside of the shin bone, you got a nerve there too. It hurts like hell. So. Let's say hands inside the elbow right here collarbone neck behind the ear anywhere on the dome throat teeth eyeballs um knees shins anywhere you find bone you hit the bone and nerves so but really on, on meat on the muscle doesn't hurt as bad it'll sting you can frog the bicep depends on how hard you swing if you're used to getting hit then you know it's not too effective unless you get a bigger stick which i do we'll show you later uh some thick cane fighting some um double collie sticks but we're just talking about it just a plunger right now you can use this as effective weapon against multiple attackers all the way to the ground i mean uh i'm gonna go over this because Kali dumag is wrestling is a uh, Filipino wrestling. It's a lot like jujitsu, a little different. Uh, it's a little uh, less tension breaks, more snap breaks, more, more dirtier. You know what I mean? Eye gouging, scraping, 
all kind of stuff. And you get this, you're, out, you're gouging out eyeballs instead of ground and pound. Using this as a tool, a weapon. So, go over it. We're going to go over this in full detail. We're going to go trapping. And we'll go back to dirty boxing, empty hand. But just say, this is basically dirty boxing with a stick. Alright? Like I was saying, I do keep a pair of uh, steel Kali sticks. Now double, I'm not going to go over double today because that's a lot to go over. I was just going to show you a little difference. I keep a string on it. Not to keep my whole wrist in. But for different kind of chokes. See that triangle? Different kind of chokes. And so I don't lose it. I usually keep like one finger in. Just in case, if you did get disarmed, you don't want to have your wrist all tied up into it. You know what I mean? You just let it go, because otherwise you're going to be, you're going to have a grip on your wrist for no reason. But you can let your finger go real easy. I keep a good loop on it, just one finger, and just hold on to it. And then when need to, you get into a grappling mode, you're right in. So, got a, uh, a blade on the end for both sides not like a pointed blade but you got two corner blades for a straight for push and pull at a 45 or whatever angles and for uh and it's just it's pretty sharp on the bottom too just for stabbing now these are a weapon all right these are not a plunger you find that you can say i just picked up a plunger because i was getting attacked they know when you find these this is a weapon but it's a little bit different but uh as you can see just doing a little Sinawali flow. It's pretty hard to get get in or get near. And it's the same thing. Straight boxing. Fifty two block system. Everything else. Maybe a little bit different. When you scuttle the crossbones of this, a little bit different because you got basically a trap to a, a hit. Stop weapon and hit. Stop weapon, hit, 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 hit. But anyway, I'll go over this in detail in another video. Uh, I just wanted to show you that you could fight with a plunger stick on, in this video. And I, I just wanted to show you this because it's this upcoming. So anyway, I'm going to let this go. I'm going to go inside. Um, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be going over everything uh, Punankutan, dirty boxing stick fighting, knife fighting even how to fight with a belt, pen anything you can carry on you without it being a concealed weapon and you can find it anywhere you can find a pen anywhere, you can find a stick anywhere and, uh, and if you know how to use it successfully you can become a human weapon so uh, anyway, subscribe to the channel Check out the website. This is your boy Solo. Welcome to Kali Combat. Peace.